Hello everyone. So we're going to be doing a uh, PowerPoint animation to help you make your PowerPoint presentations more dynamic and visually appealing. Uh, so what we want to try to do is we are going to let's show you what's going to happen. Uh, so what we want to do is each time I click, we're going to have each of these pictures come in. So here's the first one. I click again. Here's the second one with the tulips and the last one with our penguins. And when I click again, uh, the picture I want to talk about during my presentation pops out. And when I click again, it goes back. And then you can repeat that for the other two pictures as well. And you'll notice that we try to make it visually appealing by adding a gradient in the background so it's not just a solid color. And we also added a reflection for each of these images. So we're going to talk about how to do that as well as the animations. So to do that, we're going to create a new document. So I go to the little home button and click on new. I'm going to create a blank presentation. I can double click there. And we don't need these title bar boxes, so I'm just going to highlight those and get rid of them by highlighting them and pushing backspace on my keyboard. And from there, I'm going to add the pictures. So I go to insert, I click on picture, and from here, uh, these are just some sample pictures. I'm just going to pick a few. So we'll do the koala, the uh, penguins, and the jellyfish. And we'll insert those in. And right away, you notice that all three of the pictures are pretty big. However, because I inserted them all at the same time, all together, uh, they're all selected right now. So if I was to shrink one of them, uh, here's the bounding box. If I shrink one of them, the other two will shrink as well. We're going to shrink it so it's small enough so that it fits on the screen. If you uh, deselect it and you want to reselect all three, you can just highlight all three and resize all three at the same time, just like before. So I'm going to take each picture, go one, go two here, and three, and I'm going to highlight them and shrink them a little bit more so they can fit. There we go. And now that they all fit, uh, the, oh, that's a little too small, isn't it? Let's make it a little bit bigger than that. So now that they all can fit on here, I want to have them line up properly. Now I can you know, try to line them up by eye, and the program does a pretty good job of getting everything to fit right, but uh, there's a way to get it to align everything for you. And what you can do is highlight all three, go up here to Format, and right where it says Align, I can click on that and have it align on the top. And what that does is it aligns all three of the pictures so they're in a straight line together and you can always move it up all at the same time. In any case, the next step we want to do is we want to add a gradient to our background. To add a gradient, all you need to do is right click on the background and click on Format Background. Here, I can click on Gradient Fill and you'll see right here it says Gradient Stops. Now we talked about it during the class. Gradient Stops uh, are, well first of all, a gradient is when one color fades from, let's say, black and it gradually fades to white. In that case, black would be the first stop and white would be the second stop. If I have three stops, let's say it goes from red to green to blue, red would be the first stop, green would be the second stop, blue would be the third stop, and it fades into, it gradually uh, fades from one color to the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first stop, have that be white, we're going to have the second stop also be white and I'm just clicking on the little paint bucket to make sure that it's white and then the third stop is going to be a color of your choosing. Now I like to pick one of these pastel colors you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to click one and apply it and say close and there we have a nice gradient. The other thing we can do is I can have these pictures have a, uh, a reflection. So to do that you go to shape effects so I highlighted all three go to shape effects go to reflections and over here, you can pick the second one, which is a half reflection. If I click on that, you'll get a beautiful reflection on each of them. So it looks very nice. Now, the next step is, so we, we got all this stuff going. We want it to get animated. We're going to add animation to it so it kind of comes in. And to do that, let's highlight all three. And up here at the top, if you look for animations and select custom animation, you'll get an animation toolbar on your right. Now mine was already selected so I didn't need to do that. From here I go to add effect, I'm going to go to entrance, and I'm going to go to more effects. When you go to more effects, under exciting you'll see one that's called curve up. So I want you to select curve up and say OK. 
After you've done that, it'll show up under there on its own. So you can see curve ups over there already. So now, if I play it, you can see all three come in at the same time. What I want to do is have them come in one at a time. So to do that, all I need to do is go over here to the right. Here are each of the pictures, the first one, the second one, and the third one. And I can just click on it and click on Start on Click. If that Start on Click is not there, you can click here and then go to Timing. And right here it says Start with Previous. We can just change it to On Click. Same idea. So right now if I play it, it's going to go 1, 2, and 3. Uh, sometimes if these are backwards, let's say it's bringing in the jellyfish, then the penguins, and then the koala, it's out of order. You can change the order here by just clicking and dragging the uh, picture to the right spot. So right now I have it, so now this one comes in, then the penguins, then the koala. That's not obviously what I want, but just so you know, that's how you can change it up. So let's put that back where it was, leave it the way it was. One, two, and three. The next step is to have this jellyfish come out to the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video so for file size reasons, and we're going to start up from there.